What is going on guys, Skits here. Welcome back to the 62nd episode of the One Copper to One Million Gold Challenge. Let's loot the mailbox, see what sold and what did not sell. Happy Tuesday reset. Let's jump right into it here. Laylight shards coming back. Um, I hope you guys get something juicy out of your chest. I think I, on my main account, on my shaman, I just landed um, 965 hands. But the weird thing is, is you don't want to mess up your four piece, your set bonus, or your two piece. So I have a bunch of like 970, 965 plus pieces of gear in my bag, but I can't equip them without losing my set piece. So we'll see what's going on here. The rules to this series are listed in the first two episodes. If you have no idea what is going on, you can rewatch the entire series from one copper up now to uh, 56,000. And we're looting the mailbox to see what sold and what did not sell. So it is indeed Tuesday reset. It is 10 o'clock. 10.16, 8.16 a.m. Uh, realm time. So 16 minutes ago is when the realms actually just went live. So today, I am going to be going absolutely ham on my main account during Tuesday Reset with the gems and the enchants, so on and so forth. And I'm gonna babysit the auction house for about you know five hours, six hours, and hopefully be able to crack another three, 400K gold. So I might decide going forward here to live stream Tuesday reset. That's my off day, but I might just turn the camera off and maybe just keep the mic on and show you guys a three or four hour session on the auction house. I know it cannot be that entertaining, <clears throat> excuse me, but the last Tuesday reset we um, we held on the live stream is actually pretty crazy. So if you guys would like to see that or anything remotely close to that on the live stream, let me know. All right. Couple more reloads here. Hopefully, we can get rid of a majority of some of the chaos crystals we tried to pretty stack. But Tuesday, Wednesday, everything will be right around um, normal prices. If we check the auction house right here during this episode and anything is super weird, it's because of still Monday, the rollover. Everybody's at work still and they haven't uh, been home to, you know, check their chest and their Tuesday reset all their items and stuff here. So. Let's grab the rest of this real quick here. 144 more messages to be shown. Go back over here. Some nether weave cloth coming back, some storm ray coming back. Also, um, our laystone ore, barracuda, some of our enchant ring and versus all the enchants and gems. Once they go up, those are going to be the toughest to sell because we don't babysit them on this series on this account. With my other account, uh, during Tuesday Reset here, I'll post gems, mass post gems, and, you know, auctions. And then if they get undercut in three seconds or, or a half a second, I'm there to relist automatically. So, with this, um, since enchants and gems are such a hot commodity... Whoa, 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 here we go, here we go. Fell slate going off here. Um, we're getting some fell slate sales. The mailbox just went into overdrive right there, so... We have 721 gold, 44 more messages to be shown. One more reload here. Let's see. And awesome. So we have some fell slate that sold, some ley light shards and pretty stacks, 10 stacks, uh, lay stone ore in a 10 stack, one enchant ring, some scrap stuff here, some storm ray, all kinds of, uh, all kinds of goodies. So let's loot this. We will reload the UI one more time, make sure everything is indeed out of there. 10,533 gold. One more reload, see what we got. Perfect, let's go relist all of this, shall we? Relist and check the price of what we have going on here. So let's put these bad boys up. Nether weave cloth, first and foremost. Looking like it wants to be reset-ish. Um, let's put this back up at, let's put this back up at one, 140 will work. You know, Netherweave Cloths is not a big, big, you know, lucrative seller, but when we can pick it up for silver and flip it, absolutely we're going to do that. What have these fallen to? I'm, I'm scared to look at. 329. You know what? Um, these are saturated. It's going to be that way throughout the entire week. We'll get other snipes. Let's get rid of these or try to get rid of these, shall we? Those are gone. 
Our nether weave cloth gonna go up here in 50 stacks. Make sure we get rid of it. Take it, take it, take it. All right, that looks good. <clears throat> Versatility going up here. Let's do, geez, 15 stacks of one. Hopefully, maybe we can get rid of a couple of these before they get undercut. Our crit, same thing here. 15 stacks of one going up. Perfect. All right. We're also going to look at our fiendish leather. Looking like that needs reset. This might be a just general um, buy and resell and flip and no reset as far as the video is concerned. As we're checking these, it's looking like we need to flip these and reset these. So that's what we're going to do. So one stack of 85, one stack of 15, 10 stacks of 50. It's only at uh, 50 gold. And I don't see a lot of fiendish leather on the auction house. So I'm going to take a risk here and flip this and reset this as much as we can here. We have the gold. We can take the risks here and see what happens. So we'll put this back up at three. Sub three, uh, three gold, 44. Perfect. Go over here and back over to fiendish leather. And then these bad boys are going up here in stacks of 100. The rest that we pick up out of the mailbox will relist in stacks of 50. Maybe some stacks of 20. Get it going here. All right, that looks good. Let's put up our rough stone, shall we? All right. Let's put up our silk weave here. 15 stacks of 10 that we've held on to for so long. We gotta be patient though. All right, other stack of two going up here. What about our silver mackerel? All right, 200, 200, 200. I'm gonna see if we can get away with some pretty stacking here. We're gonna put it right at 535. All right, we'll do 52 stacks of 50 here. Coffee break. All righty. And then we're also going to slap up some of our lay stone ore. All right, <clears throat> check this out. Perfect, perfect. Not as lucrative as we once, you know, we bought it for, I think, sub six last episode or the episode before that. So we can get rid of these. All right. Then we'll check the fell slate. Also, we'll put up our storm ray again here. Perfect, 18 stacks of, let's just do 10 stacks here. That looks good. All right, fell slate going up. 16, 17, the whole way to um, 20, one stack of, Six stacks of 20 is okay. We only have but 81 total fell slate right now, so I'm thinking I want to just pretty stack this as well in stacks of five here. And we'll see what we get right there. Perfect. All right. That looks good. Barracuda going up here. Ooh, one stack of six. We're going to reset this as well. That looks great. All right, so we're going to click over and back over here. Let's put these bad boys up. Actually, let's get crazy with it. Done. See if we can grab these. All right, single salmon going up there. Let's check our lay light shards here in our chaos crystals, 12 pages. I believe it got a little weird here. So I'm gonna show you 41 stacks of 200 then there's this huge gap of slop and then the majority of where the prices are supposed to be at are at 57. If I had the bread, if I had the gold right now, I would consider uh, clearing this out. But I don't want to right now. Like I said, these are very easily attainable and I am going to marinate on these late light shards and pretty, I'm gonna put these up in uh, I think pretty stacks right now see if we can get rid of some and then hopefully tomorrow we will have these at a better price 
So let's see here where the closest 10 stacks after that are. I'm going to put them right here. So 35 stacks of 10 going up here. If we move a couple of these, it'll be worth it not to get rid of them at 46. And that is so saturated. Um, 41 stacks of 200 is astronomical. All right. <clears throat> here we go. Silver mackerel, the last little 10 stack right there. What about our chaos crystals? Let's check the price. 18 pages of them. So probably not the best, but we'll see what's going on here. 136, all stacks of 1, 1, 30, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 5, 5, and then it goes back up here. So looks pretty saturated as well. Like I said, Monday into Tuesday, everything is still falling off from the previous week. So I might just leave that right there. I'm going to bring the video down quickly and then back up. Let's see what we want to reinvest in. Let's check the price and let's check our gems and make sure they are indeed. Okay, those are good. Um, we have our other big ones here, our enchants. Good and good. I'm going to bring the video down momentarily and then back up. Let's see if we can get rid of 10,000. Actually, let's get these out of the mailbox first. Skits, how about that? One thing at a time. Let's grab all of these. We'll relist these bad boys here. And then we will go from there. I do want to find maybe one more market or two more markets. Kind of, you know, broaden our gold making here and see if we can find any other sloppy stacks or something that they put up that was miserable and we can capitalize on here. So let's make sure everything is indeed out of the mailbox. One more reload here. All right, looks great. And then we are out of here, fam. So let's put these bad boys up right here. All right, fiendish leather, awesome. Let's put up our 50 stacks, 31. Those look great. And then we're gonna put up the rest of our nether weave cloth here. So stacks of 100, we'll do uh, one and the rest we'll put up in our stacks of 10 and then our just scraps here perfect 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 I'm gonna bring the video down and then back up we have 65,573 gold with a lot of stuff on the auction house Tuesday reset I'm gonna bring the video back up let's see what we want to reinvest in all right, guys, everything is still pretty jacked up from Monday's rollover into Tuesday. I did see this that I might want to pursue, and I think I am for this episode. So we talked about the Ley Light Shards, right, and how the big giant stacks were up here. Uh, 200, 41 stacks at 200. These are going to sell through, okay? If we look at Mark of the, in our binding of, it'll bring up all of our enchants real quick here. And I'm going to show you... Um, Mark of the Claws at almost 5,000. All of these necks are around 3,000. And then if we go over to our binding of, all of these are still pretty high. So point being, everybody is going to still, so all of our cloak and chance here above 3,000, very, very expensive. So all of our Laylight Shards will sell through. Our Chaos Crystals will sell through. A lot of the Gold Goblins will be on later to buy these up. And it's like printing free gold with enchanting. With that being said, this entire sloppy, everything here is sloppy that I can afford right up to my 57 gold, my 10 stacks, I'm going to clear this out. I'm going to let the auction house do the work for me. And I'm going to put this giant gap up here and it's going to literally stick out like a sore thumb. So hopefully we can get rid of these bad boys at 57, make some great gold, almost, you know, eight gold per on all of these and then we'll go from there so i'm going to put these bad boys up in stacks of five and ten at 57 and then hopefully throughout today and tomorrow all of these 41 stacks of 200 will get uh, eaten up because those are relatively cheap but like i said if i had the gold i would buy these up and, and relist but we don't right now so these are going to go up it's going to be a huge risk but a a big reward if we can get rid of these bad boys here. okay so one stack of 15 almost done here and then our 22 stacks of one almost clearing up all these scraps here perfect three stacks of three 
These are going up here, perfect. Five stacks of three. And it's important to note as well, as long as these are the cheapest five and 10 stacks at this price, they will get eaten up because um, somebody doesn't wanna buy a whole stack of 200, right? We always preach that. So let's grab these out of the mailbox, put these back up, and then hopefully we can get some nice sales here. We'll, we'll quadruple check everything else we have on the mailbox or the auction house, excuse me, and then we will go from there. All right, come on, late light charge. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All righty, almost done here. All right. And then one more. One more loot. Nice. Okay, 37... We'll just double check here. Make sure this is indeed the last of everything out of the mailbox. All right. One more check. And looks like we are good to go. So these bad boys are going back up in stacks of five and 10. Quick little cleanup there. All right, boom, and we have our 11 pages of Laylight Shards. And then these are going up here in stacks of five. So 49 stacks of five, 35 stacks of 10. There we go, chat. So look at that big gap right there. That's what it should look like. And then hopefully we can get rid of these bad boys if um, the, the 200 stacks hopefully either sell through or we get some sales on the pretty stacks here. So let's take a couple more We'll do one stack, or two stacks of one, actually. All right, those are up. And then one more check of Chaos Crystals to make sure nobody put up any really, really ridiculously cheap. All right, 15 pages here. And nope, looks about, that'll even out throughout the week here hopefully tomorrow let's pretty stack these shall we at least put them up any 10 stacks up here um i don't see 155 so we'll put up there are but we'll put these up here just in case six stacks of 10 at 155 you never know might as well list them when the prices get uh a little bit improved we'll be able to push those versatility and our crit look great they don't 14 stacks of one going up there good thing we checked that because that right there is the perfect example of these would never sell six stacks of one that's nobody is going to be buying up more than five or ten of these you know what i'm saying before uh we get back to them to reset them so these six stacks of one going up as well last but not least check our versatile gems make sure they're the cheapest they are and that is it guys so we have a majority of Fiendish Leather looks good. Our Fell Slate's up. Our Enchants are up. Chaos Crystals, our Laylight Shards look great. Laystone Ore, our Netherweave Cloth, all kinds of great stuff. I will see you in the next episode. If you would do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up, make sure to share with one of your gold goblins and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Twitch.tv slash itskits. Go follow me over there. Turn on notifications, and whenever I am live, pop in, say what's up. We do gold farming, all kinds of great stuff, variety gaming. Fortnite um, right now has got me um, hooked. So we're going to supplement both of those in before the release of BFA, and then we will go from there. Discord.gg slash itskits. You can also join that if you have any gold-related questions. Pop in, and uh, we'll go from there. Love you guys. See you in the next, you in the next episode. I'm out of here. Peace.